Okay, so I at a lot is again Alan the Forex Algo Trader and today I just wanna say something very quick, something about uh, coding on specific let's call them trading terminals in this instance so maybe someone just like does the coding on on let's say xness which does not maybe provide the boom and crash which does not maybe provide the us 30 which does not maybe provide the features or just like maybe typically just like provide provide the the forex or i mean maybe majorly the forex and the uh, and the indices only or maybe metals some metals in this case does not provide some other maybe features or those kind of stuff in this instance maybe for example a deriv account i mean deriv yeah let's say just like deriv just like does provide the indices and the futures and all those kind of stuff like us 30 as you can see over here like uh, boom and crash 500 sp something all those kind of stuff it doesn't really matter if you do the coding on on either the on either platform in this case anything would just like what work out fine so we just like maybe recently uh, created an expert advisor that was again using a custom indicator on this uh deriv deriv uh, trading terminal or or, uh, or account in this case as well, maybe you can confirm over here this deriv demo with the following accounts in this case and that account um <coughs> with the yeah with those the, this kind of stuff in this instance so you can see that uh, it is basically uh, just the same process we just like did code the expert advisor and it is working out fine just the same thing which would work on a normal uh, trading account as over here you can see we do use a custom indicator then you open a buy position over here and you can see this uh, this is a boom 100 index in this case it would work perfectly fine if it was again crash or sp something or sh or whatever all those kind of uh, features that you guys do is out, out there so it is like it is kind of the same so the same 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 logic that we do used for on the other uh, indices metals and forex currency pair provision accounts it is the same thing that to do use over here the same the same concept because they use the same uh, language which is mql5 meta on a meta editor mql5 so it is the same same logic same same concept that you do use so we add this kind of indicator that we have just like coded uh, it was being it was provided by you know a fellow who requested that we can make an expert advisor based on it then we just like went ahead and created the expert advisor you can see what do have there its name is a beast spike detector maybe you have had it handle new or whatever you can just like get it from the from the from the lesson that we did previously so yeah like this then do open uh, positions and it is working it, it worked out super super correctly well in this instance so the code that you did use is uh, maybe i can show you it is not very far it is over here and you can see it is the same same logic same same structure uh, using resources using uh, the same instance for include using the same <laughs> Uh, variable definitions and integer variables using the same function calls and all those uh, inbuilt mql5 mql5 inbuilt stuffs like all the same or everything is all the same so just to simply answer the question is that uh, there isn't any any difference in using all these kind of stuff if it is it will just like work out perfectly fine provided just like providing the correct values however the coding structure and calling language is all the same maybe you wanna uh, maybe change this one to be options as it for the options uh, i wanna see i just wanna make sure it is a fire over here for the styler or maybe for the styler you can see it is meta quotes uh, language that is being used in this case so the same same thing maybe for the java for the 
white smith for the vtki for the linux for the mozilla and google as well same same thing in that case so it doesn't have too much thing even if you were to go ahead and use uh, the other charts the renko charts it is just like would work perfectly the same in this uh, case so it doesn't have any any much uh, difference in this instance so maybe like getting the process for this and for this bus it is the same if it is using a renko chart as long as it does have uh, the correct logic encoded or embedded into it it will just like work out perfectly fine so for the people who are asking on coding on uh, maybe typically these uh, de derive accounts or yeah typically the derive accounts it is working out fine working out perfectly fine so the same same logic that you do like for example you could just like go, go ahead and use um, let's say let's say get the the i prices get the i prices maybe for the previous bus for you to see so we can use i <coughs> maybe can have double uh, string let's say i uh, i for the third bar in that case is equals to i i i i in that case then providing the symbol uh, providing the period providing the integer shift which is maybe basically for uh -huh, for for maybe the third bar in that case and then you can just like go ahead and pre and print this i3 in that case so over here let's say just like cut these and i want to print these on their own initialization so that you don't run it on the yeah whatever so over here you can just like compile this on and have a look at the initialization stuff so can I have a look at the initialization stuff over here and see if we do have corresponding values so do have, uh, we delete everything clear everything and then uh, start it again on one day initialization so you can see the custom indicator is loaded successfully over there and then for the experts you can see the third bar which is this bar over here typically you can have a, a look at the i price and maybe typically confirm which should be uh, um, 16500 is that so let's see 50.2 one nine yeah this as you can see so let me expand these uh, so we can maybe confirm that is now the i price this is bar number zero and it index number zero this is one these two this is three so we are we are looking at this bar which is three in that case or index four that uh, instance so you can see it is super super just the same gearing the prices and all those kind of stuff so there is no any difference between derive account and all these kind of stuff so I'll just like undo that up to that point so we keep the expert advisor working super correctly so typically that is a uh, that is a uh, that is all there nothing nothing much nothing much of a difference between the coding platforms